All right, you guys, in today's video, we're gonna talk about dither fish. We're gonna talk about what they are exactly, how they can actually stop your aggression in your tank, and how they can also help fish be less shy. So without further ado, guys, let's go ahead, let's get right into it. So if you don't know what dither fish are exactly, they basically are fish that frequently swim in your water column, pretty much with no fear. Um, so basically like your schooling fish, like you can see my rasporas, they're always out, they are always swimming. And so are um, my denison barbs and my, my tetras, like my bleeding heart tetras and the Colombian tetras, you guys can see these guys are schooling pretty tightly here. Um, these guys will be your dither fish. And now I'm like my not so much dither fish would be my severum who just chased my other severum away as well as my uh, geophagus redhead tapahos so those are like just the cichlids of the tank so how dither fish work is basically they're supposed to provide a level of comfort for your other fish so if you think about it like in the wild if there's a bunch of small fish out and swimming around that typically means that there are no predators around so um, you know, it's safe for everybody. And that's similar with dither fish. You know, if there's a bunch of small guys out and about schooling, then maybe, uh, you know, if you have a cichlid that's being shy um, and you add the dither fish, then, you know, the cichlid knows it's safe because he can see that, you know, everyone else is out in the water column swimming around. Now, how it also can help with aggression is if, let's say I just had these two severums in the tank and they were just being aggressive towards each other, or let's say, you know, my super red spot severum was picking on uh, the orange shoulder severum only. Um, now, if you add more dither fish in the tank, um, at the very least, it could spread out the aggression evenly. So the severum wouldn't just be picking on my other severum. Maybe it's, you know, slightly chasing after, um, let's say, like the denison barbs, for example, right? Something that's a little bigger, like you wouldn't want them to pick on the uh, harlequin rasporos. Um, so that's at the very least. So it can disperse aggression, but um, at the most it could, you know, just help calm the fish down. Sometimes aggression can be caused from stress. And if the fish is stressed out, hiding all the time and constantly being aggressive towards other fish, uh, dither fish can work um, and help show that the fish, um, you know, that it's not a dangerous environment. You know, there's not predators out here. Everyone's swimming. Everyone's having a good time, even the little guys. And that will calm your, your bigger cichlids down for sure. Now, my favorite dither fish to use are these uh, rose line sharks or denison barbs. Um, I like them because they get a good size. They have amazing color. And, uh, you know, typically they school pretty tightly. Um, and, you know, since they're like a good size, you can put them with most of your bigger cichlids. And they're always moving around. And they're decently hardy from what I've seen. I haven't lost one yet, knock on wood. Uh, but that's like a perfect dither fish in my opinion. Now, obviously, you could go with some smaller tetras or I have these harlequin rasporas which are good dither fish um and like also like the colombian tetras are good and as well as the bleeding heart tetras are good so you guys can see i have um, four different types of dither fish in this tank which i'm going to be reducing them um as time comes just because i want to turn this tank into a south american dominated tank uh just with south american cichlids and i'm going to keep of course my dither fish of choice which is the rose line shark so those are just some good dither fish options um, some other good, like, large dither fish, op dither fish options are, uh, I think silver dollars are really good. Those get a really good size, um, especially if you have bigger cichlids. And, you know, just on top of everything, who doesn't love that natural schooling behavior? I think it's a really cool, um, you know, if you have some of your centerpiece fish, like I have this Severman here, and then, you know, in the background, you kind of have these guys filling up space and schooling. Um, it just adds for a really cool overall look so i think you know dither fish are always a good option unless you have fish that you know need to be in a tank by themselves like super aggressive cichlids like flower horns or maybe you just have a naturally aggressive cichlid in there but typically you know any of your semi-aggressive cichlids um you know they can you know 
be humbled out or calmed down with dither fish added to the tank as well as fish that are hiding you know same deal you put some dither fish in the tank and uh, you know everyone feels nice and comfortable and you'll even notice their color will start to look better too they'll start coloring up they won't be as stressed out and usually when your fish are stressed out their colors are kind of washed out a little bit um, so yeah that can also be a good pro is your fish will look better and more colored up with the dither fish I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video on dither fish guys and i hope that uh you were able to take something away from this video if you have any other questions on dither fish make sure to drop them in the comment section down below and i'd be you know happy to answer the comment uh but guys if this isn't your first time stopping by if you guys have been on the channel i appreciate all the support and if this is your first time stopping by you know i appreciate you spending some time with me but uh i'll see you guys in the next video got tons of fish content coming soon and yeah i'll see you guys later take it easy guys